Yo, what's up, man? It's the pilot. I'm back. I can let my cell phone in the sofa cushion. Before we even get started, guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Guys, other than this video um, that's about traveling, which I do a lot, my channel is mainly based on fashion, but I had to do a video on this resort because I feel like if you're a person that travels and you go to resorts, this is one of the best resorts in the world, in my opinion, especially for the price. Now, if you live out of the country, I live in the US, um, if you live out of the country, it may be a little bit different for you as far as pricing and stuff, but I've been to a few resorts and all of the resorts have been breathless resorts. The main reason why that is, is because everyone else that I've spoken to about their trips to different resorts that weren't breathless, breathless resorts, they had a horrible time compared to mine. It's so weird that I tell them the type of things that we did on the resort at Breathless and they don't believe me until I show them video. So I want to give you guys some tips. Before I show you the footage of me going out and kicking it and having a good time at the resort, um, which I stayed for about, I think I stayed four nights. I stayed four nights. Um, before I get into that, I want to give you guys six tips. Before I even show you the footage and do a voiceover on video footage and pictures and stuff, because I didn't take a lot of them. Um, because one, I already knew that the videos and stuff, a lot of times, don't do it justice. And from the other videos that I've seen other people do on this Breathless Resort, it does not do it justice at all, right? And how fun and how great of an experience it is. Um, mainly because people go as a couple and they're on their best behavior. But me, I went by myself. And it was a total different experience, guys. I want to give you my six or seven tips for you guys on going to the resort and why you need to go to a breath resort. Now, guys, this is not a paid sponsorship. I got sponsorship. I have like 2,000 subs, right? I just do this for fun. Right, I travel a lot. This is not a paid sponsorship video. Like I'm just doing this out of the kindness of my heart because I see all the videos of other breathless um, reviews and stuff. I'm going to, to another resort here soon, but I see all the other and they just don't do it justice. They complain about goofy stuff or they just don't have a good time because I honestly think mainly it's because they're with their significant other and if they weren't, they would be cutting up. So number one, the number one thing I want to tell you guys about Breathless Resorts, right? Even my video, the number one thing, the videos and footage do not do the Breathless Resort in Cancun any justice at all. Guys, it is a constant, if you plan it right, if you know your way around the resort, you will have the time of your life. One of the reasons why this resort is so great, even compared to the other Breathless Resorts, because I've been to almost all of them, even compared to the other Breathless Resorts, the main reason why they turn up so much and they, and they uh, have so many events is because the beach is not swimmable on the resort. So they have to make up for it somewhere. So they make up for it in the fun and excitement and other things that they have planned on the resort to make up for the fact that you can't really get into the water as much as you want to because all of the reef and it's just, it's just a weird spot on the beach, I guess, on the shore. I don't know if it's kind of like in the Gulf Bank or something where all the coral reef comes in, but if you go, it's constantly someone outside, a group of people outside cleaning up the reef and stuff. So you can't really go into the water. You can, but you can't get your full swim on and all that stuff. It's good enough for you to take a couple pictures um, depending on what day it is, but it's not going to be somewhere you can go in there and, and snorkel around on the beach. It's just not. It's not for that. The resort mainly is going to to make up for you not being able to swim with all the different activities, um, all the different random things that they have going on there. You guys, I'll show you in the footage when I do the voiceover here in a second, but just know that all of the, these other guys that have videos that you guys are watching. They're not going to be able to do the resort justice mainly because they're 
they're going as a couple and they can't cut up like they want to and show footage of stuff like I am. Even with my videos, it still does not do it any justice. But I'm gonna try. Number two, I'm gonna tell you guys this, okay? And it may sound messed up. Do not, if you're a dude, do not bring your girlfriend to this resort unless she's an outgoing person. She likes to party, she likes to have fun. She's not a party pooper. Because if you do, you're gonna be upset the whole time. I've been to this resort twice, and I met so many guys just through conversation, just meeting them out, taking random shots and stuff with people at the bar or something, asking people where they're from. When I kind of get to know the guys that I meet there from the resort the whole time, all they do is complain like, damn, why did I bring my girl here? It's not mainly because they didn't want their girlfriend there, it's because they can't really cut up like they want to, or, you know, their girlfriend is just not for doing all the partying and there's so much stuff there, right? So you will feel like you're missing out the whole time. So unless you're going with, uh, you have a lady that is extremely fun and likes to engage with people and do a bunch of different activities and stuff and drink and eat and experience new stuff and is trying to do everything on the, on the, on the, um, on the resort, dude, don't bring her. It will be a waste of money. Take it somewhere else, man. Take it to New York, LA, something like that. Go to another country, but don't go to Breathless Resort, man. Because it's going to be too much fun going around. If, if your girlfriend is a party pooper, it's going to be a waste of money. Number three, big, big, big tip, guys. Breath, the Breathless Resort, especially the one in Cancun, has so many freaking activities. It's ridiculous. They have a list. So before you go, you can request for them to email you a list of the activities for the week that you're there. Ask them about a week in advance. And they have everything from yoga classes to, to uh, <laughs> aerobics classes to, I mean, all kinds of weird stuff going on. They have shows, acrobatic shows, um, sometimes they have magic shows. All of this stuff is going on in the resort. And if you're not, if you don't know, What's going on? You're going to miss out on so much stuff because you're just going to go eat and drink and go to the beach every day. And you might go to the pool. Guys, my number three tip. Do not leave the, the resort. Look at me. Take my glasses off. Don't leave the resort to go on some goofy excursion or go to some goofy club in Mexico. They have a club there and the club there is amazing. Right? They have a good DJ. And guess what? It's free drinks. Guess what else? If you get there early enough, you can get a free section. You're not going to get bottle service and all that. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can pay for it. But you can get a free section there. Just you and your people that you came with or you and your lady, y'all get there early enough. Y'all can have a whole little section to yourself instead of going off of the resort, going paying to go into another club and then you have all these people begging for money and all this stuff the whole time. It's a house that you don't need. You already paid for everything going to this resort. It is absolutely stupid to me that people leave this resort to go on excursions. Unless you live somewhere like New York or something or a really busy city um, where you can't, your state or nearby does not have anywhere that's, you know, any open land where you can go and go ATV riding and stuff. Like, I live in Texas, so I can do that at home, right? So why pay for that on a resort? So basically, you're paying to leave the resort and you're losing all the money that you're spending for that day at the resort. So those four or five hours that you're gone doing that excursion, maybe longer, you basically wasted that day. Right? Then when you get home, you're going to be exhausted and tired. You're not going to want to go in and party. And just don't leave the resort, man. They have a full list of everything that's going on from the time from 8 in the morning to the time the, the club closes at 1. Number 4. I've seen a lot of people complain about the food at the resorts. From videos and even some of the people that are there. Those are lies. The food there is pretty decent compared to other places I've been, other hotels I've been. A lot of people that complain about the food at the resorts are people that just want like burgers, fries, wings, waffles, 
waffles, chicken and waffles and stuff like that. Like, I mean, you can get that stuff at home. The Brothers Resort in Cancun has like seven restaurants there. You have no excuse. And guess what, guys? This is this is the kicker about the, the the restaurants in the resort. You set a reservation, you go there and eat, and it's free. You know why it's free? Cause you paid for it. So a lot of people that are complaining about the food is because they're moving around and rushing. They're not planned out. They're not utilizing the resort the way they should. Like I said, they have a full list of everything. All you had to do is ask the front desk person for the list and they'll send you a list of everything that's going on at the resort. All the restaurants, all you have to do is call it or go walk over to the restaurant that, that morning during that window. It's like from 12 to noon or something, 12 to three. You get up, go to the, to the restaurant or whatever, wherever it is that you need to do, you sign up, put your room number in there, and you have a reservation for that restaurant. And it's like six or seven restaurants. There from hibachi to a French restaurant to a Mexican restaurant, Italian restaurant. They got the buffet, they got the the the, the restaurant that's right by the pool. I forgot what it's called, the something grill. They even have like a cafe for you to go and get coffee and gelato and stuff like that, and pastries, man. It is so much to do there. If you know your way around a resort, it's amazing. If you don't, you're not gonna have as good of an experience as you would have if you knew where everything was. Make sure that you guys, when you get there, make sure, or even before then, like a week before, make sure you call the front desk at the resort and ask them to email you an itinerary of their week and they will send it to you. Ask them the times that you set reservations for restaurants. The hibachi grill there, you have to go there because everybody wants to go there. The hibachi grill there is amazing. One tip I want to give you guys tell if you get fried, like fried rice like I do, get extra garlic butter and a little bit of ginger on your fried rice and it'll turn it up. But anyway, um, that is very, very important, man. The food is really, really good. And you just kind of have to plan out your meals, man, and which restaurants you're going to go to. Otherwise, you're going to be eating from the same spots. You're going to eat from the buffet every day because you're not planning it out. Right? Big tip I want to give you guys, the frozen drinks, man. Okay, the... My stomach was turning a little bit for like three or four days after I left the resort, mainly because I was drinking a lot of frozen drinks. And as you guys know, in Mexico, the water is different. So you want to stay away from drinks with a lot of ice, and you want to stay away from frozen drinks while you're there. Especially if you have a really sensitive stomach. And if you're going to be doing a lot of drinking, you definitely want to do that. And also, make sure that any water that you drink is water that is bottled water. And they have plenty of bottled water everywhere. Make sure that you stay away from those frozen drinks. And it's going to be really tempting because a lot of those guys are worth it. You see so many people drinking all these good frozen drinks, strawberry daiquiris, pina coladas, frozen margaritas, all that stuff. Stay away from it, man. If you want your stomach to stay intact during the trip, stay away from it. Number six tip, tell them it's your birthday before you go there. Call the front desk the week before or whenever you set your reservation. Let them know that it's your birthday. They'll give you a complimentary, complimentary, they'll give you a complimentary cake, slice of cake or a small cake and champagne. That's great because it's free at that time, but if you ask them for it later, they're gonna charge you for the champagne. So make sure that you let them know it's your birthday, even if it's not, because I do. And the last tip I wanna give you guys, please, whatever you do, man, do not bring somebody on this trip that is not outgoing, whether it be your girlfriend, your buddy, a group of people. If, if they don't seem like the type of people that complain about a lot of stuff, or they don't really want to do anything, and you want you want those people that that need somebody to do stuff with, you can't do it by yourself. Do not bring someone there with you that is going to be a party pooper because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on there, and you're going to feel like it's a waste of money or it's going to be a waste of time because you got a friend, a girlfriend, homeboy, whatever you're into out there with you that does not want to party and have fun. This is a party resort. Do not go out there with someone or a group of friends that do not want to party and have a good time and maximize everything that's on the resort. I get there, I wake up no matter what, how hard I party, I wake up at nine in the morning, every day on the resort, and, I, <laughs> and I'm finished when the resort is over with. When, all of it, when the club is over with, I'm done with it. Right, but every day I got my stuff planned out and you should do it that way. 
that way too. And you want to maximize everything that the resort has for you guys. It's a lot of stuff from yoga classes to aerobics classes, these classes. They got all kinds of stuff there, and you have to look for it. So, last thing, guys, my videos that I've seen online that I've looked at that do not do it justice. My videos do it a little bit better, but still, your experience there is all determined on how much fun you want to have, what type of person you are, and how outgoing you are. If you plan ahead, it's going to be a great experience. If you go with the wrong people, you're going to feel like you wasted your money. But I'm going to show you guys and give you a voiceover on some of the videos that I've done. I have a few clips I had to dig deep in my phone, but I hope you guys got something from this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. And let me know your experience when you're going. Have you been to a breathless resort and all that good stuff? Let me know what's up, man. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy the video footage from my experience, man. So, yeah. So just straight off the top, as soon as I got to the hotel, since I told them that it was my birthday, you know, they put the little wrap on my door, you know, I come in, and I didn't do a review over in the room, because the room is really nice, you can see the shower right there, the bed is made up nice, and I got a free bottle of champagne and a slice of cake. They used to give you a whole little mini cake, but I guess people are getting hip to it, so now they're getting a little cheap on you. And don't worry about which view you have, because you're going to be... On and around the resort most of the time. So unless you're one of those people that like to sit in the room You're not gonna be worried about the view And this is at the beach and you can kind of see the reef a little bit. I was there a good weekend where the reef wasn't as bad but It's nice and then this is uh I think this is my first day I me mean, going out to the pool and stuff. I went to go eat first but um, I'm just kind of showing you guys the view from my room. And, you know, even though it wasn't an ocean view, it was just fine. I don't want to be in the room looking outside of the, at the view anyway. I want to be at the resort having a good time, if that makes sense, right? Um, I went to the, to the grill, strip grill, I think that's what it's called, to have my first meal of the resort at the resort. And... Um, you know, it was pretty good. I think I had uh, like a little mini state type action. And they had like a volleyball tournament going on. <laughs> they had a volleyball tournament going on. And I'm just walking around drinking my drink and my daiquiri or whatever I had in my hand. I think I had a pina colada, a margarita. And then this is the secret side. The first time I went, this was part of the Breathless Resort, but they changed it and turned it into a secret. This is more of a turned down area where it's kind of quiet over there. But I think it's... For older people, I guess. I'm not really sure. And then I went to the pool, man. They got a swim-up bar. Got my margarita going. And it was a good time. As soon as I got out there, man. Don't worry about getting... Um, some. Well, some people go out there and they try to get, um, you know, their seats and stuff. And cabanas early. But I'm not, not really worried about that. I just post my backpack up. And then this is like at 1 p.m. So I'm they're really, really early. It goes from 1 to 6, and I'm out there from 1 to 6, man, kicking it. I mean, they got a, um, a little small grill over there where you can order french fries and wings and stuff and burgers if you need it. And they have a bunch of random events that come out there during the day. During this time, they had like a party group that came out and gave those little thunder sticks, and then they playing the drums and stuff out there. I mean, it was a good time. And you, as you can see, I'm still going. I don't know what type of frozen drink that is, but I'm drinking it. And this is still early. Like, this is like 1 or 2 p.m. And people are just, like, slowly moving over there and getting out there. And then I went to, I went back to the other side of the pool. I think I went and got a snack. And they're having on the other side. It's another pool in that area uh, at the resort. And this is kind of like the medium party area. And they were doing, like, goofy events. Later on that night, I went to the hibachi and the hibachi spot and got some food and stuff before i went out to the club but before i go out to the club they had a um like an acrobatic show they always have some type of show there every night and a lot of people on the resort don't know about it so make sure you know about the resort they had a guy singing and playing a guitar and then they had <laughs> they had these people doing like you know dancing in the lights jabberwocky type thing going on which was all random 
Um, but my events were go eat, go to the pool, go change, change up, go eat, then go see the show. And these acrobatics people, they were doing the same thing at the pool the next day. But And then after that, you go to the club. And the club is a pretty decent sized club. And everybody from the resort is there, man. So make sure you make friends with people from the resort and don't be shy because you're going to see the same people over and over and over and over and over. Right? So then the next morning, I just decided to go. <laughs> I decided to go and do some yoga. And it was a good time. I needed it. I met some people at the resort doing yoga. Getting up early um, really helps. And also, you want to maximize your time there. You don't want to like sleep, 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 sleep. And you're missing out on good breakfast. You're missing out on yoga classes. You're missing out on, you know, breakfast drinks and champagne and mimosas and stuff. You could be getting when you're sleeping in a room until three o'clock, you know. So I went and did some yoga by the beach, man. It was pretty cool. There were a lot of people there, actually. And then this is another uh, kebab from their strip grill, and I got a bunch of different things. I order a bunch of different things every time I go to any one of those restaurants on the resort. And now I'm back at the pool again. And this time, this is Friday. The first day was it was uh, Thursday. This is Friday. And they had the acrobatics people out there. They cleared the pool area right there so they can do the acrobatics. But they have random stuff going on all day. They, they bring alcoholic popsicles around and hand them out to the people that are there on the resort. Um, and I'm just there having a good time. And I end up meeting the bachelorette party. There were a couple of them out there. And we're just all having a good time, man. It was a really, really good time. Everybody's taking shots. And, you know, if you're a person, you know, you're going there with a person that's not really an extrovert and out there talking to people, you're not going to have as good of a time as you could if you just, you know, going around speaking to people, cheersing people, giving shots to people. Because, I mean, it's not like you got to pay for them. You already did, you know. So... I'm just out there having a good time, meeting people, asking where they're from, and you'll be surprised. In Mexico, like, in your mind, if you're from, you're from Texas, you always think that everybody that's in Mexico is from around Texas, but you get people, or, or they're from the States, and you get people from everywhere. And these are a couple of people that I just met randomly. You know, you go to these different restaurants, like, oh, you going to the French restaurant? Yeah, let's go to the French restaurant then. I'll sit with you instead of sitting by myself or sitting with my other home. Let's all get together. And it was her birthday. And then uh, this is the next day. I went to the club that night, but I didn't have any footage. I think my phone went dead. And then the next day, they got some more acrobatics people out here doing water aerobics. <laughs> water is a water show. And then I went to the club again that night. Instead of the club, though, they moved the club outside and the DJ outside that day. And it was still a good time because it's a bar right there. And it just set it up outside, man. It's a good time all the time there, guys. I don't know how to explain it other than... You know, if you go there with an open mind to kick it, man, and meet people, you're going to have a great time. If you go there kind of closed off, it's going to seem boring. And everybody is there to relax and kick it. So you shouldn't be worried about any any drama or any of that stuff, man. Just just go and kick it and have a good time. And these people, I think there's a bachelorette party of girls that I knew, but they ordered a bottle service and all that stuff. Um, and they have random people that work there that help you party and stuff. And, you know, I'm just getting to meet people because, you see, like I said, you see the same people every day that you're there, so you might as well speak to them. They're going up and ordering drinks and stuff and ordering food. You keep seeing them around the resort, so you, why not why not cheers it up with them, man, and flick it up with them, right? So, like I said, I don't know if you guys, if you're going to this resort, an all-inclusive resort, man, you definitely, like, you don't need to go there if you don't drink. You, I mean... You go to all-inclusive resort to drink, right? <laughs> Let's just be honest. That's what you're paying for, to drink. So, as you can see, you know, there's more and more people coming out. This is on, I think this may be Friday. It's Friday or Saturday. I'm not, I haven't made them. I, I'm not sure. Um, and we're still out there, man. Now, you can see, like, I think this is Friday. This is Saturday. And it's more people out there on Saturday. As you can see, it's, it's filled up. And, um... As you can see, these are the same people, the same people every day. And more and more people come in, different people come in at different times. And sometimes you may see one person during the resort, on the resort, and then you won't see them anymore. But for the most part, 
you know, you're going to see the same people all the time. And you just in there kicking it, man, having a great time, drinking it up. Make sure you don't get too many frozen drinks. And this bachelorette party, man, they had a good group of friends. They were having a great time kicking it. I, I enjoyed meeting them and stuff, too. And then randomly, like, they do stuff like this. Like, they just had, like, a champagne party. Like, they just start spraying champagne on us. Right? And this is the reason why I'm telling you guys, like, if you go to Breathless, why would you leave the resort? Why would you want to leave that? And then I went to the club again at night. And guess what? The same people that you see at the resort are at the club, man, having a good time. And like I said, guys, if you're going to the Breath of the Resort, man, you're in for a treat. Just don't leave the resort. Limit those frozen drinks and plan your trip out. Hey, I'm the Style Pilot, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I will respond if you have any questions. And I will see you guys later.